Guess who isn't getting any sleep tonight? Us. Welcome back to Convini Comparisons. I'm Shelly. And I'm Heidi. And we're from Guys You Pod. How was your convenience store run, coffee run? So, most of the time, you go into the frozen food section and they have cups of ice. So, the coffee's not in it yet. They have cups of ice and you have to take it over, or you have to pay for it first. <laughs> pay for the cup of ice and then you take it over to the coffee machine and then you fill the cup up yourself with the coffee into the ice to make iced coffee. Yay! Well, all of these four, Lawson, Family Mart, Daily Yamazaki, Mini Stop are 110 yen for the small size. Mm -hmm. But 7 Eleven is 140 yen. Like, we have not drank from this cup yet. Yeah, no. But it like just doesn't look like fully full. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're getting the most out of yeah, your like money. The only honestly. one really that looks like it's filled is Mini Stop. But overall, Lawson is definitely the cutest. So cute. I just want to start off with some coffee facts. Oh yes, Heidi's been working really hard on these coffee facts, so I'll take be, it away. Yeah, I'll be spitting some coffee facts for you, not literally. But the first one is that coffee was introduced by the Dutch. When Japan was in its period of isolation called Sakoku, it was introduced by the Dutch. Oh, there's and a Japanese coffee fact. Yes. Oh, oh, I love it. Amazing. Yes. Of course. It had We're to be Japanese specific. Yeah, Japanese style. convenience of course. store. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. Oh, the dot. Interesting. Yeah. They didn't like the flavor at first because it just tasted burnt. Mm, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lawson, yes, is the one in the cute little cup. And again, Lawson, they made it for you. It's the same kind of person. Oh, they have cups of ice at the back and then they just fill it up for you. Oh, but you're not allowed to touch the machine. That's the yeah. only difference. So maybe okay. Lawson is like a bit suspicious about <laughs> customers. Like they don't trust us. You might accidentally press the L. Well, yeah, I actually thought that. But the same these <laughs> cups, are they're like not fully full. That's so I did true. consider if I pressed the right button or not. Like a larger size, could I have got away with it? But I didn't because, oh, she's you know. honest. We're yeah. honest on this show. Oh, one thing I noticed is all the straws they provide are plastic straws. Oof. Should we just use the paper straw from Starbucks? Or Cheers. Cheers. Mm, coffee. Not in Honestly, a good way. Honestly, don't think I'm like a coffee connoisseur. Yeah. We are not coffee connoisseurs. Yeah. We don't know anything about coffee. That's just yeah. enough to know like the undertones right, and stuff. Right. Or like where but it source. tastes like coffee. It doesn't taste like overly bitter or anything. Like it's very drinkable. Yeah. But I want to ask like what do you remember the first coffee you've ever had? How old were you? I don't remember coffee exactly, but okay. I know when I was little, sometimes my mom oh. would let me sprinkle instant coffee on my ice cream. Kind oh, of like that's um, interesting. What's the ice cream that you pour the coffee, the like espresso over? Affogato. Affogato. Yeah, yeah it's I like that, so. but it's like the cheap version. Oh, that's cute. Okay. <laughs> you just sprinkle like instant coffee, like sprinkles. And I felt like an adult. I don't remember ever drinking coffee. Like for fun, even in university. Yeah. Mm. I worked at a cafe for like a whole year. Ironic, okay. Yeah. And I remember they were like, you need to know your coffee if you're going to work at a cafe. So they'd give me espresso shots. But I'm like, I don't think espresso shots is the way to start your coffee mm, journey. Like you right. have to start with maybe even like a mocha. Right, right, right. Yeah, and like work Dip up your toes to it. Into it if, yeah. Like, yeah. Would you, how would you rate this? I mean, I would say, would you order it again? Would you get it again? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, coffee fact, Ooh. the first coffee shop was actually in Ueno and it opened Ooh. in 1888. The name was, it is a very tricky name. What? A.K. Pei. A.K. Pei. In 1888, yeah. 1888. That's a, Ooh. yeah. It's so crazy to think that Tokyo is such an old city that they would have a coffee shop all the way back then. Yeah. yeah. But then before that, they must have just been drinking tea. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And I, I also read that in 2020 or something like that, coffee actually overtook tea consumption in Japan. What? Yeah. In 2020? Yeah, yeah. Oh my something goodness. like that. That's, wow. that's pretty cool. Coffee facts for you guys. I told you I came prepared. Family mod. So, oh yeah, so the ones that you have to make yourself actually come with like this little film thing. 
You have to peel it off before you put the coffee in. Of course. Pew. Oh my gosh, ASMR. <laughs> Should I do all our sound effects? <laughs> Boink. <laughs> Boink. Because <laughs> I thought some places might just like somehow puncture through, puncture the, through the, yeah. the thing. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. It's much milder. This one is, I like this one. Tastes more like water. <laughs> I don't think that's the point of coffee, but... Um, yeah. It doesn't taste as bitter, I don't think. It, right? it tastes more roasted. I don't know mm. if that makes sense. It's like, oh, the co the vending machine coffee mm -hmm. is in the cans. Yeah. Compared to that, it tastes more fresh. For sure, for sure. Because... You don't know how long those things have been in there. Yeah. yeah. It probably tastes like, really like the can. It tastes like the can. Ew, it tastes metallic. Yeah. So nowadays, Shelly, do you still drink coffee? No? Yes? I'm not a big coffee drinker. What do you drink instead? I think I'm more of a tea person. But overall, I'm probably just like a water person. <laughs> <laughs> I think really? if I'm thirsty, I think I'm like, well, I should just drink water. <laughs> but how about when you want to stay awake? Yeah, if I'm trying to stay you awake... drink more water. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you drink a lot of water, it keeps you up at night because you have to go to the toilet every three oh, seconds. Oh, that's true, that's true. So it's true. kind of a way to stay up. Hmm. Kind of, unless you... I wasn't expecting that at all, <laughs> I'll be honest. Where have you been all my life? <gasps> Oh my goodness, yes, bean. Bean. Coffee bean. bean. Coffee. Okay, so I have two facts. Coffee facts. Oof, why did I do that? Coffee. Coffee facts. The first one is that Japan is the third largest consumer of coffee. Really? Yeah, I was surprised too. Here's number one and two. I didn't get that far into my research, but <laughs> um, the second coffee fact is that... Coffee Coffee Day in Japan is October 1st. Coffee Day? Yeah, there's a coffee day apparently in Japan. It's October 1. So we missed it. Oh, I did. Yeah. So I had a struggle of a time <laughs> at Daily Yamasaki. Do tell. So the ice cups came in size S, right? But then when I went over to the machine, there was only an option for regular and large. So just to make sure, like I wasn't missing anything, I asked the staff, convenience yeah. staff, um, should I just go with regular? Because that's the smallest size I see on the coffee machine. And she was like, oh yeah, just press the bottom left button. But when I looked at the bottom left button, it was a large one. Should I just put the regular size in? And she was like, yes, put small in. And I was like, okay, that did not. <laughs> she was like, yep, this daily Yamazaki coffee looks the darkest out of all of them. Yeah, I would say so. If you compare it to the mini stop and the family mart, yeah. This looks dark AF. Cheers. Cheers. It's good. <laughs> that was just water. <laughs> With a hint of coffee. What do you think? I think this one's the bitterest. Really? No? This was the most bitter. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I don't know how to compare yeah, anymore. This is Maybe so we should, they, should, they should not listen to us. I have no <laughs> idea what's going on. It's, um, yeah, but we, yeah. Next. So, canned coffee was invented... Canned coffee was invented in the 1960s by the father of coffee, Tadao Tadao Ueshima, who is the founder, I'm guessing, of the Ueshima Coffee Company called... UCC. UCC coffee. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I know UCC now. It just came to yeah. my head. Oh. So he invented, he invented the canned can coffee, coffee in the 1960s. you find in the vending machine. Yeah. Have you had one of those before? No. Oh. Yeah. How about um, Australia? How, how are you guys with your coffee culture? I know it's a really big thing over there. It is. I, I come from this place. I come from. I used to <laughs> live in this place called Ballarat. It's sort of near Melbourne in Victoria. If anyone's watching who knows where that is, thank you for knowing it. <laughs> um, yeah, we had a Starbucks there for a while, but then it just did not work out because we have so many local coffee places. Oh, wow. So yeah, Starbucks just doesn't work. So Starbucks had to like leave. Local coffee cafes, they are really popular and really oh. respected. So if you get like a coffee from like Starbucks or like fast food places. Like or a something, chain. Yeah, yeah, like a chain coffee, it's kind of like, 
Do you even know your coffee? Ooh, really? That's a stigma. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm making that up. But I feel like people who love coffee <laughs> won't do, go to Starbucks. Yeah, won't go to Starbucks. Like they okay. have a bit of like a, a bit of judgment. Ooh. Is what I feel, but I'm not sure if that's truly the case. No, your feelings are valid. Okay. <laughs> Mini stop. Which Mini stop looks the most full, so I give extra points just to give us a cup of full coffee. It looks yeah. the most satisfying. Like you got the most bang for your buck with this. It one. seems like it, but seems it does like come it. in a smaller cup. But I rather that. Like if you're gonna give me a small cup, fill it to the top. That's true. Mm. Makes sense. I'm, this one looks so much like warmer in color. Mm. Mm, this has a little bit more kick. Honestly, they all kind of taste <laughs> similar, but like the <gasps> levels of bitterness, I think. You can really tell this one was like. Oh, we totally should honestly, have invited someone who's like new really coffee. new coffee. It's so hard to compare that it all tastes like coffee to me. Oh no! No, just, oh, oh no. which is our? I think this one's mine because I have a bit of red lip. Oh no! Wait a minute. I'm that might be my. Uh... I'm starting to think this one's mine. Who's got a moisture mouth? Because this one looks soggy already. <laughs> okay. Yay. Ooh, Which yes. is your favorite Japanese chain coffee shop? So there's Dotor, there's oh. Tully's. Oh. What are the other ones? I feel like I'm missing so many. There is. It's like the Kameda coffee. Kameda? Komeda? Komeda? Komeda coffee. There's a lot of them, isn't there? Like yeah, chain store cafes. What's your favorite? I like Komeda. Hmm. I just find it really funny. Like I feel like so many Japanese like chain store cafes have little hot dogs. Is that yes. Really? <laughs> Why is that a thing? Yeah. Like cafes, chain store cafes have to have a little hot, hot dog. 7-Eleven is the one we usually start with, but mm -hmm. we saved it for last because apparently 7-Eleven is extra special. Yes. The same. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I feel like there's more dimension. Like, I tasted more flavors in it. But uh, other than that, it just tastes like a normal coffee. It tastes like the Family Mart or the Daily Yamazaki one. I'm just gonna go speed round. Ready? Yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. Definitely more bitter. Yeah. Well, way milder than the rest right? of them. Very similar. I agree. Water. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Final thoughts? Honestly, I'm not sure. I think because 7-Eleven is more expensive, it's 140 yen for the same like size pretty much. Else, but it tastes to me pretty much exactly the same as Family Mart yep, yep. and Daily Yamazaki. Yeah. These three taste the very similar. similar. Yep. Lawson, definitely so more strong. bitter. Yeah. It tastes stronger. So if you're like a real like boom coffee, yeah, I need a, it. A, a strong hit in the morning. If you don't like coffee but need it, mini stop. Yeah. Um, please take everything with a grain of salt because we do not necessarily like coffee and these are all super watered down. <laughs> so those are some things you need to think about before yeah. following our advice. Maybe next coffee day, October 1st, was it? Mm -hmm. We can do like actual coffee, like hot coffee. Yes, for sure. Maybe by then we'll develop a our taste, coffee. Yeah, connoisseurness. Mm. Mm. But I actually wish more places in Japan have chai lattes. Yeah. Because that's another thing in Australia, pretty much every cafe really? you go to yeah, has um, <gasps> chai, chai latte. So I want to yeah, promote great. that. More chai. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Comment down below which one you like best. So if you go to a cafe, what's your go-to order? I'm much more of a savory person over a sweet person, I think. So even yeah. if I go to a cafe... You'll get the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get the hot dog. I don't know which coffee like, I want to keep drinking. Because they all do taste the You'll same. You'll continue drinking, okay. I'm like, no. I took the tiniest sips. Well, honestly, before this, we were filming this video, I feel like I was like not snoring, yawning. <laughs>
I didn't check if all of them had decaf. Oh, that would have been, yeah. Oh well. That's jazz, baby. <laughs> Sorry.